kids and welcome to Best City Now on Best City Fashion with me, Shai Charles. So for the first tutorial we're going to do a couple of techniques that will be useful in the coming weeks when I show you some new ones. A dappled marble effect and um, how to use liquid eyeliner. So it's going to be cheap and cheerful and I hope you like it. You will have used cuticle cream already of course, I presume, um, and then have washed your hands. We're going to use this uh, lurid yellow colour. Um, it's very bilious, it's very obnoxious, because what is nail art for if not to be obnoxious? Um, and then just paint on a base coat. This is quite a thin one, but you might have a better quality one yourself. I mean, I don't know the calibre of the people we'll have watching the show today. So, it should look something like this. And nothing like this. Mm. Oh dear. When you've done a couple of layers of your base colour of the bilious lurid obnoxious yellow, um, we're going to be using these. This is three shades of pigment of eyeshadow. You could also probably use powder paint if you've got kids, um, or even eyeshadow that isn't loose. So just smash it up a little bit with the brush. It will, it will be the same. Um, use a brush like this. Um, dab it in and um, smash it all over. Smash it and speckle it all over the nails. Uh, the higher up you do it from the nails, obviously, the more it will sprinkle around. And the point of this is, don't worry about getting it on your fingers and everything because it will stick to the wet nail polish and not to anything else. As soon as you wash your hands, this is going to look really neat and tidy. So, your speckling powder should be done just like this, gently tapping with your hand to distribute over the nail. It absolutely should not be done like this. Absolutely not. Oh, I'm getting it absolutely everywhere. <laughs> now, once you've done all of those colours, you're going to need to dollop on a nice big coat of Sesh V top coat. It's called Sesh V because it dries quickly um, and it also makes your manicure last a really long time mm. as well, especially since this we'll be using too. Now, this is going to drive the ladies absolutely wild. <laughs> the eyeliner that we're going to use for our lettering would have more staying power and kind of go on really solidly if we applied it straight onto the powder. That's a pro, but the con is, if you mess up, there's no going back because you're kind of pressing it into that dry powderiness that you've just created. Um, it's much better to go onto the sesh V after it's slightly dry because if you make a mistake then, you can literally lick it off. I know that sounds gross, but licking, licking liquid eyeliner off a dry nail polish, it just comes straight off. So you're um, minimising risk, as they say. So you've done your different coloured speckle powder, you've done your top coat which is as good as dry, now you're just going to carefully add the letters that you want with your liquid eyeliner onto the nails. Now you might think this is going to be really hard to do with your bad hand, but just take it slow and like I say, if it goes wrong, lick it off. Mm. Muy bien. Okay, so that may take you a little while until you get some practice, you know, like me. Um, then you wait for that to dry a little bit, don't go straight in. Doesn't take any time at all for liquid eyeliner to dry either. And then go on the top with another layer of sesh feet, which will seal it in. After you've done this coat of sesh feet, you won't be able to lick it off anymore, so you have to be really committed to this look. And then the final step, and this is completely optional, is to add what we call 3Ds. So you can have um, this nice array of crystals that you can get from the eBay or the Poundland, anything you want really. Um, you get them with your tweezers. You apply just a dab of super glue or nail glue, but it's, it is the same, more or less. Um, and then you put them on top of the sesh vee. And then after that your fabulous nails are done. I've also got pineapples, as you can see, these didn't come out quite so well. I'm not entirely into these, but um, maybe I'll teach you to do fruit and pineapples another time. As you can see, it's a little more complicated, so we're going to have to wait until we're at least in the intermediate stage. Mm, that's all for today, so I hope you nailed it, and see you next time for Best City Nails. Bye! I can't control the way I'm moving my head. <laughs>